when we talk about lineage in Buddhism, we talk essentially about the transmission of power. Now, of course, generally outside people, if they know anything about Buddhism, will associate lineage mainly with Vajrayana Buddhism. But actually, lineage is crucial in all of the Dharma. Uh, we can see this, for instance, in the in the with regard to the three vats. So the first of the three major vows in Buddhism is the vow of individual liberation, or pratimoksha in Sanskrit. And that, of course, is maintained by the Shravakayana, the uh, vehicle of disciples, as much as it's maintained by Mahayana schools. So, for instance, for a monk or nun to be ordained, he or she must receive those vows from an unbroken lineage of vow of Vinaya holders. Without that, the ordination has no power. And that ordination lineage goes back to the Buddha himself. That's why it is so crucial. Exactly the same in the Mahayana. The crucial vow for Mahayana is the Bodhisattva vow. And that has also been transmitted in a number of lineages to this day, two particular within the general Mahayana, the, which are the Madhyamaka vow, a Madhyamaka line of the Bodhisattva vow, and the Chittamatra line of the Bodhisattva vow. So we need to receive the Bodhisattva vow from a lineage holding Bodhisattva vow master. Without that, it is not possible. It, is, it will not be authentic an authentic vow. So similarly when we come to Vajrayana, the essence of Vajrayana is the transmission of initiations and with those the appropriate vows. Those initiations to have any spiritual power, any blessing from the Buddha himself must have been transmitted in an unbroken lineage. So that is it. Lineage is the, uh, the, the force, the power, the blessing of the teaching, whether it is mm, tantric or non-tantric, passed down through a line of disciples and practitioners to the present day. In this way, lineage doesn't necessarily have anything to do with institutions or major, or major uh, kind of like sects of Buddhism. In fact, they grew up around the lineages. They should be seen as the kind of shell or the external frame, external framework around the lineages. So they, while the lineages must continue, schools may themselves come and go.